Hey guys, LuxPro here. So today I'm going to be showing you how to get your wallpapers or creations or whatever you have on Wallpaper Engine and get it to export uh, from Wallpaper Engine since it doesn't actually give you an option to uh, from the actual application. Now I did do some research before I actually figured this out to from Reddit, from the frequently asked questions from their actual website and uh, yeah they gave some examples and some help in being able to export it but there was no direct uh, visual uh, instructions or actually a whole lot of instructions in general um, on how to actually do it because once I tried figuring it out one of the solutions was to download this uh, app which we are actually going to use in this video but uh, once I downloaded this app and I tried doing it myself from Wallpaper Engine, there were a lot of problems that came up. And yeah, I'm just here to try and solve that for you today and uh, show you how to export it properly from Wallpaper Engine. So first thing you're going to need is OBS Studio. Uh, I'll put a link in the description and you should go uh, download it. And once you download it, install it wherever you want. And once you do that, you'll eventually reach a pop-up they'll ask you to whether or not to optimize it for streaming or whether to optimize OBS Studio for recording. Uh, I clicked recording. Um, I don't know how streaming is. Uh, you can click it if you want to. I don't know how that will work. But uh, what I did and what you should do I guess for this video is to click for recording. So once that's done you'll probably uh, yeah you'll definitely um, get into the actual application which should look like this uh, it shouldn't have anything down here the entire screen should be black everything should be fine so once you've done that uh, make sure you also have wallpaper engine opened up like so and what you're going to do uh, is you're going to right click on your wallpaper this was the Naruto wallpaper that I was talking about you're going to right click on the wallpaper that you want to export you're going to click play in window this and uh, where you, wh what I'm actually going to tell you right now is do not full screen this all right do not full screen this if you actually want to put it on YouTube for example or I don't know what other platform but if you want to put it on YouTube and you want to make sure that this uh, wallpaper doesn't cut off the, co the edges of the wallpaper that you've made like for example right here I'll show you right here um, it's cutting off some of the hair from uh, Naruto's head and actually some of the fingers down here a little bit like the the tips of his fingers so if I just minimize it like this a little bit like make it smaller you can kinda see that he has a little bit more hair now you can see his spikes more and you can actually see like more of his fingers now so that's what I recommend you do just make it smaller do not full screen it just do it like this it's fine after you do that what you're gonna do is gonna go back to OBS Studio and then you're going to click down here under sources make sure there's nothing here all right nothing here um, click add and then click window capture and then you're going to click create new uh, it doesn't matter what you name it and you're going to click OK so right now I'm recording through another application so you shouldn't be seeing this you should actually be seeing wallpaper pop out now again uh, you can change whatever screen you want to record from here and make sure you click wallpaper pop out if uh, this should be happening automatically if not like I said you can click it right here if this doesn't show up at all make sure you go back to uh, the wallpaper pop out X out of it go back to wallpaper engine right click play in window and start that up again then go to OBS studio X out of this delete window capture right here just click on it and click delete and then add uh, and then do the window capture again so that it should be back to here like sh it should be here normally like this so this is what it should look like and uh, once it's like this click OK next you should be seeing your wallpaper here uh, in front of this black screen right here and we should be doing uh, the whole goal of this is to make sure that this black screen is able to fit onto this uh, sorry this wallpaper right here is able to fit to the size of this black screen so I tried doing this by uh, 
uh, stretching it. You can also see down here that there's like a black little, you know, cut out like a little bit out right here, so it doesn't fill up the screen entirely. What's also uh, incorrect is that this black screen needs to be uh, the aspect ratio of 16:9 or the resolution of uh, 1920 and 1080. So what we can do to change this is you go to File, Settings, you go to Video, and you can type right here 1920 by 1080 and 1920 by 1080 right here. Like it says, 169, 169, just do this and click Apply or click OK and it should change that to here. That's if it's not already done. If it is done, perfect. Next step is to uh, click on your wallpaper, highlight it, then right click, then click transform, edit transform. Right then after that, you're going to have to type in the resolution that of the black screen. So 1920 by 1080. All right, now uh, it's a little bit off, but there you go. See, now it's perfectly aligned up with the black screen. And after this, you can just start recording, really. Uh, record it for however long you want. Uh, I did my Naruto video for one hour, oh, sorry, one hour, <laughs> my bad. One minute and 45 seconds. Uh, I was going to go for one minute 30, but I left and came back and it was 45, but whatever, it doesn't matter. After that, you click Stop Recording, and your recordings should be saved right here under File, Show Recordings. It, it should be saved under Videos, and your video be right here somewhere. Uh, this is my Naruto video that's already posted on my YouTube channel, so yeah. Um, yeah, and it should be posted there. So, if actually, uh, let me just show you how it looks like. Uh, I did it so that it opens up under Photos. You can open it up under, let's say, Windows Media Player. And I'll do that. Like this. And uh, Photos looks like this. And from there, you can just upload it to whatever platform you want to. I put it up to uh, YouTube. And the thing is, if you want, uh, if you want to make it so that you this uh, this video, this wallpaper is edge to edge on Windows Media Player, let's say. Um, first off, I'll tell you this right now. If you do this right, you're gonna see, uh, like. So let me go back to YouTube. I can't type. Um, go back to my channel. Manage videos. Yeah. So you're going to see on your YouTube video, right? You're going to see black borders, which is like, no, you, you, don't need to, you don't need to see that. That is not what you're going to need to see, especially for... Uh, people who are uploading their wallpapers to YouTube because usually those wallpapers are used by other people um, and they can download it uh, and make it their own wallpaper and that's usually why people upload these wallpapers uh, like other wallpaper creators do across YouTube so black borders are no-go you should not be doing that um, and that is if you're trying to like fill this screen right here uh, from edge to edge and just have and if you have a different resolution a different aspect ratio It's not gonna work again. Like I said black borders from well, Like it, sh it could be from the top from the bottom from the sides like whatever it will just have black borders That's not good, but if you really don't care about YouTube if you want to just have edge to edge Windows Media Player um, screen of your wallpaper then I can just show you that right now so what you're going to need to do is you're going to go back to your wallpaper pop-out, right? You're going to full screen it, all right? And then you're going to go back to OBS Studio. Uh, right now, it's going to be like this. That's fine. doesn't matter. Um, what you're going to do is click on your wallpaper. You're going to uh, right-click it. And then you're not going to do transform. You're actually going to do resize output source size. So you click that, click the S, and it's going to resize it to your actual oops your, uh, to your actual pop-up size to your actual pop-out size so this isn't 1920 by 1080 
This is uh, 1920 by 1001, which uh, if you put it onto YouTube, it's not gonna it's not gonna work. It's gonna give you black borders. So you can record it like this if you want to just fill it out for Windows Media Player or whatever else. All you need to do is just change the aspect ratio. Um, uh, sorry, the resolution to whatever you want, or if you just want to make it so that it's the entirety of uh, the wallpaper itself, you click resize output source size. But uh, yeah, um, do that only if you want to do this with the Windows Media Player. If you want to do it to YouTube or any other platform, do what I said before. Uh, just change it based on uh, settings. Go in the video, putting 10, 20, sorry, 9, 1920 by 1080, putting that onto both of these, pressing OK, right clicking, transforming, editing, and changing this to 1920 by 1080. And then once you do that, you record, you stop it, and you'll have your video. Yeah, and that's how you uh, export from Wallpaper Engine. So give this video a like if you enjoyed it, dislike if you don't. For any reason, if you need any help for anything else, uh, comment down below. I'll try my best to give any answers. Um, if you want, you can subscribe. And yeah, peace out, guys.